right onto the stick of Parker Johnson, though, who scrambles back in the net. Wraparound chance. Dyson looked like he was late getting over, but he is there to seal it up. And draws the whistle uh, to get some pushing and shoving after the fact. And Dylan Laboud comes in late, and he took a pretty good shot from McKirk right there, and now gloves are coming off finally. Little dust ups happening at 7:25 of the first, and now we got a full-on brawl, maybe brewing in the corner as Ashdown is toe to toe with Stewart. Has it stolen away by Knudsen? He's got Carey with him. Knudsen to the near circle, walking in and tipped off his stick at the last second, maybe the near side line, trying to get around to Boot. Bouncing puck, backhander, they score. Ryan Matthews will add to his team leading goals. Back to the point for Wark. Shot. This one sails high and over the net. Rebound out in front, and Nichols will leap in the air and, like a center fielder, grab this one before any further bounces can ricochet around his net. Near corner for Carey. Carey at the hash marks finds Kerr side of the net. Centering feed. Carey in front. He scores. Ben Carey is absolutely blazing right now. Second goal of the night, 14th of the season. It draws 26 seconds into the power play and at 5.30. Stopped by Dyson. Wild firing. Pucks on net. Loose in front. Pauly poke it away at it and it goes over the net. Had Tafoya in there for support. Right viciously and now throwing a couple back in the face of the Dawson Creek Rage player that's Zarazin and this is a pretty good hoedown now. Two customers still wrangling up in the slot inside the zone. Right from Redmond, another right, another right. Redmond's got the bad, uh, the better angle right now, I should say, as Zarazin's kind of falling. Some rabbit uppercuts from Redmond. Now one roundhouse to the back of the head, and Zarazin spills in the new circle, and Redmond has to be peeled off of him by one of the zebras, saying, that's enough, son, go to the box. Hash marks at the far side. Felnemere. Back for a one-timer, they score! Jason Wark with a bomb on a beautiful backhand set up by Felnemere. Stick from Kerr down the near side boards, finds Carey. Shot stopped by Dyson, but ricochets hard off his mask out to the far side point. Back up high for a one-timer, loose in front, Kerr scores! Chris Kerr gets in on the rebound activity around the Dawson Creek net. Second power play goal of the game for the Wild, they are... Counting all the ones and zeros. Stolen away back in the net by Redmond, and he just about had a gift wrap goal. Brought to you by Dix, and off the draw inside the Dawson Creek zone. Rage find it and come down nice. In the slot, loose, they score! A shorthanded marker by Troy Petrick has tied this game at three. 18 seconds into the wild power play. Side, jams it to the far side corner. Comes free and uh -oh. roped around the boards. A man loose, shorthanded. It's Petrick again, walking in the wrister. Stopped by Nichols. Rebound, side of the net. Sailor, the hero of the last contest when Anchi played in overtime in their last game. Forward for Robus to the slot. Drops it off. Shot, they score! And Chris Knudsen is rewarded for playing his best game of the season, in my opinion, as he fires home a one-timer from the slot off the drop. By the new kid in town, Robus will pick up his first point as a Wenatchee Wild. 145 into OT. Wenatchee gets a 4-3 overtime victory and snap their five-game winless streak on home ice as well. Wild win game one of this three-game weekend set. 4-3 in overtime over the Dawson Creek Rage. You're listening to it live on AM560 KPQ, and we'll come back to wrap this one up or start those details at least in the post-game report next. A very, very skilled play by uh, the newcomer, Blake Robeth, uh, to, to take ice and then cut back a little bit. And a great job by Chris Knudsen, who uh, hands down easily his best game as a wild player tonight. Yeah. Uh, he was, he, at times, he was the best guy on the ice, and for most of the game, he was our best defenseman. Uh, and it's great to see him get rewarded for that because he did play tremendous. He made a good read, uh, saw Blake kind of curling back, jumped in on the rush a little bit, and uh, was able to one-time one, basically in an empty net.